What's up guys? Hope you all are doing well. We are in the airport and we are officially arriving to Myrtle Beach for World's Strongest Man. Crazy day of travel. We were kind of thinking about starting this uh, travel vlog earlier, but we had a little uh, little debacle with the, um, with the car headed to the airport, which was crazy. We got through that, uh, stayed calm, got it done. Didn't have to rush too much to get through the airport, so all good, all good, really calm here, and uh, that's what you want with the day of travel. Now, we need to go see if the bags arrived and uh, get the rental car, get to the Airbnb, check out my room. So we'll bring you guys along for a little behind the scenes look at all of that fun stuff and uh, get settled here. All right, guys, welcome to day number two. We got in from the airport last night. Things are a little chaotic. We managed to, uh, send one of my bags to a different city so we had to stay there and get that organized but we got in and i just wanted to kind of rest relax get settled in the room so this is my room i wanted to give you a little tour here obviously the full uh kitchen setup which is great we've got uh everything cleaned up thanks to my wife since i've already managed to make a mess of course got all the undefined nutrition Really proud to uh, be competing in my last World's Strongest Man, but also using my own supplements. So the new Gigantor uh, mask in, which is delicious. Really pleased uh, with that. But uh, set up, we got all the groceries ordered full of trifecta. I am doing my own diet. So it's just something that I needed to take over. I needed to be in control of. Been, I've been really pleased actually uh, with my physique and uh, how I'm feeling overall uh, being in control of that. So um, I've ordered the food that I want to have and uh, we got it all stocked up. I'm sure there'll be plenty more coming in, but uh, overall I have to say I'm, I'm super impressed uh, with my room uh, this year here, World's Strongest Man. Obviously got the massive dining table, um, which a lot of eating can happen at. Uh, this is a uh, second bathroom shower whatever uh, i guess if i want to use that and then this is going to be my gear room so we've got all the gear bags over there uh, and what i will probably do is just kind of lay everything out on the beds so i can have it organized and planned out what i need for each competition day so it's very clear and then i'll pack the bags from there so this is going to be really convenient uh, overall to have that set up this is kind of like the living room. We've got the family over right now. Carrie and the boys. Boys are getting a little uh, TV time uh, and just chilling out before the, the next action adventure for them starts. They're having a lot of fun here already. And then this is, I guess you'd kind of call it like the master uh, bedroom. Of course, got the new Jordan 5s that I'll be rocking uh, this year. Said I was going to wear fives, and there they are. Really pleased with those, um, and, and uh, just set them out there. Wasn't really planning on that, but they fit well in the video. So this is the bathroom uh, here. Decent sized shower, which I'm I'm actually pleased about. You know, it's uh, always kind of a, a crapshoot with um, trying to figure out if it can fit in the shower. Shower head could be a little bit higher, but I'm not going to complain because I've had a lot worse showers. Um, Toilet, of course, uh, double sinks, so plenty of room, as you guys can tell. And then let's just head out here. I'll show you the outside uh, view, which is actually pretty cool. So little sitting area here on the uh, balcony. And then right there is the beach and the ocean. Uh, definitely nice to be able to kind of sit out here and, and just kind of get a little view of that. Uh, overall but uh, I gotta say this thinking back over all the years this is is I feel like I can say confidently the nicest room that I've ever had at World's Strongest Man and the setup is killer for me where I like to be in control of all my food and uh, have my own space to kind of spread out and uh, and be in a good spot so this is wonderful wonderful really uh, relax now which is great and I think we're gonna head down now to check out the competition venue kind of get a lay of the land there and then uh, potentially go do a little little kind of mini workout stretch out get some blood moving so good day today beautiful and uh, love being here really excited that we're 
on the ground and settled. All right, guys, so we made our way down to the competition venue, and they are still working on getting everything set up here. But out here is what I wanted to look at the most, and this is the, they're calling it a sand stage. So this is where uh, the main thing that's going to happen in the sand is, is the loading race. And so it's important to kind of get a, a uh, understanding of what type of sand it is because I've done a lot of different loading races in sand and the type of sand can, can play a big factor in that type of event. So that's one of the main things that I want to look at. And then um, right here, they're, they're building, I believe this is going to kind of be where the, the VIP spectators are going to be in this kind of awning. And then on that side, we'll go over there and look at that, but that's something they're calling the land stage. So I think they're still working on that when we walk by, but the sand is the most important thing. So let's go check that out real quick. It's definitely fine beach sand, so probably won't pack down a lot. And then one of the things that, uh, that you'll need to be aware of is the fact that it may get a little uh you know kind of tore up and even looser as the guys are competing i'm imagining they're probably going to take a rake and rake it out but still something to be aware of uh, for the footing and and uh you know the type of shoes to wear and and that type of thing so um all part of making the game plan for success and so this is why i'm down here because every little detail needs to be uh, thought about and executed on so happy to kind of be on the uh the beach so it's a good setting beautiful as you can see uh i feel like a lot of uh a lot of good energy right now being out here which is awesome so beautiful and they're gonna keep working on getting this set up but we're gonna go go over and kind of get a uh a taste of what the the land stage looks like and maybe um, maybe kind of look at what's going on uh, with the uh, the tent setup and all that a little bit, but this was the main thing I wanted to look at. So, so on this side is the land stage, and as you can see behind me, they're 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 building it, kind of laying everything down and getting the wood uh, set up, and then uh, trying to make it as level as possible. So, you know, something like this, you have to understand there'll be a little bit of play potentially in in the ground so stability is important but you know this is something that uh we accounted for within training so you know worst case you have to take an extra extra second to, to get th things balanced a little bit you know something like that but um definitely ready for that and and comfortable with it because uh this is what you should expect going into world's strongest man so um i'm sure these guys are going to do as as good a job as they possibly can getting it set up and, and making it happen. But uh, a lot of work going on down here uh, to get this set up. And they still got a, a couple days of, uh, you know, kind of putting everything together and uh, making it come to life, so to speak. But it's it's gonna be great. This is, this is gonna be really, really good. And you know, this backdrop, all the flags, uh, everything flying. Um, and to be fair, this breeze that we have right now actually feels really good. So if we can keep this temperature and, um, have a little bit of a breeze that's going to make it real comfortable and, and uh, good, good com competition environment um, and setting. So really pleased uh, to get down here and kind of, kind of uh, check it all out. We are at Next Level Fit. They were kind enough to open up the facility here for me to come down, stretch out, get moving a little bit. Uh, and that's just what I like to do. You know, a couple days out from a contest is, is get some work in like this, make sure the body feels good everything's moving good uh, this is also going to be the location where i'm doing a free meet and greet uh, the monday after we finish world's strongest man we posted that up quite a bit on social media so if, if you look you can find it uh, and if you're in the area myrtle beach uh, surrounding area you want to come down uh, the monday after world's strongest man next little fit from 5 to 8 p.m so I'm happy uh, that we're doing that because I get to meet everybody uh, that may not get to meet me during the contest because I'll be so focused. But uh, we're going to get locked and loaded here, have some fun, and uh, then probably get out of here and go eat.
All right, guys, run through, felt great, body's moving good. And now it is time to eat, so we're gonna go in and get some steak and uh, get fueled up. We have uh, uh, got a, a, a guy named Paul McGuire. Paul McGuire? <laughs> He's right here, Paul. Paul, how you doing, man? You good? What's this? This is ice cream, don't say. Oh. Okay. No, I actually don't. <laughs> I don't want it. Thank you. Eat Thank it. You. Thank you for offering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, a champion. You feel good. You have been a champion for a while. Yeah. <laughs> you, you put some motion on your uh, shoulder. <laughs> Are you oiled up? Were you posing or something? No, I'm just kind of sweaty. Okay, okay. I that's, come from an island. It's actually really gross. I'm going to have to go wash my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty nasty. Oh, oh it's why why the sweat. You yeah. like to touch men a lot, don't you? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, why, why did you do that? Always, always making it weird. That was so weird. Why did I'm just saying. Touch was, men a lot, and then you put that entire thing, but then you didn't eat it. Or you just you, you, you interrupted me. I was saying you love you love men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do it without laughing. You got to stay serious through the joke. Go again. So you love men, huh? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you like things that small? Well, like you know, I don't like it too big. Okay. I can't fit in my mouth. Okay, yeah. So you can get that one all the way in. Good for you. You know it's like. Yeah. Never too big. Anyway, let's, um, <laughs> we're done with that. Yeah, yeah. Tom, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you keeping well? Yeah, you, you, you find it weird talking to uh, Paul? <laughs> yes, I do very well. Yeah, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Just a wee kid in the background. Yeah, yeah. He might actually get a computer at this year. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, you should. I've heard a rumor though that if I don't compete here, I'm going to the Brain Shaw Classic. Is that right? You heard that one? <laughs> so that oh, you heard it too? Yeah. No, I, I didn't actually hear that. <laughs> I mean, what do you think the chances are that you're going to start the contest like this? Like getting. 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, how are you feeling, man? Yeah, I feel very good. Yeah. Fit and ready to fight, so. Love it, man. Yes, chill, chill out for a few more days and let's have a big battle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I heard you're, you're in the same group. The what? same group? Mm. Are you, would you be in it too? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, if you get to start, like, with this. <laughs> there'll be no final for you, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. I just want to And there it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are the heat events? The heat events? Mm. Oh, good. Yeah? Of course. Good. good. How, how, are, how are they for you? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Do you, you, you want to add to that question at all? Like, how are they? Um, I love Conan's wheel. I've heard that you like that. Yeah. Oh, so you're watching up for me. Yeah. Did you break the world record for? The Giants? <laughs> I, oh, broke, I broke it in the shade. <laughs> and then I broke my toe. Yeah. I was doing it right. I did the Conan's wheel one day and I beat Dan's record. And I put it down I was like, and it was like my first go on it. I was like, that's a good event for me. So the following day then, I was doing some log pressing and I said I'd add in some cardio and what other cardio to do then. Cardio that's coming up to know. So I picked up the Conan's wheel again. I was kind of doing it in a hurry. And I came around and I walked around <coughs> and my bag was in the way. And I went to step off my bag by holding it and I dropped it. I was like, fuck, and I went to kick the bag like that and I kicked it. Yeah. And it was where Metcons and it just pshht, and broke my big toe. Why would you do that? That's a hard thing. Everyone huh? says, why did you do that? <laughs> like why? If the, if the bag was in the way, why didn't you move it first <laughs> before picking up and starting? Okay, if you want to play those games. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel, I feel like you kind of deserve to break your toe. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but I'll just call it what okay. it is. <laughs> Sometimes things happen, you break your toe, or you drop a sack into water. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go there. That's what we're you went there first. Yeah. Right now we're level. I, 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 I know, I'm not going <laughs> to shake your hand on that. You feel like that's the same level. That's the first square. Kicking a bag. We are square. Like that. Sure. It, there. Like that. That's not a square. Yeah. That wasn't very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. You stopped this. You deserved it. You hurt me. You deserved that. <laughs> you needed to hear that. I feel better. Yeah. Well, apparently, I needed to hear it too, so. 
appreciate that. And I think we're going to say goodnight. Okay? You're, you're done. You're done. Thank you. You hope. I hope you have a nice leave. I will. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, Tom, it's great to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paul, on the other hand. Now a special message from Pa O'Dwyer. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Hop on. Is that the one you want? Please, yeah. Bang. Yeah, just get it. Okay. If you're, if you're strong enough. Okay. Thank you. I got it. Thank you. I was debating not pushing it for you. Thank me. Will you thank me for you, Preston? No, you're welcome. That's better. That's better English. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is we're going to put the video out. Nobody understands what you're saying anyway. Okay. Subtitles. Yeah. Have a great night. Hey. Good night. Good night. Great catching up. Yeah. Do you want some ice cream? Awesome. I'm good. <laughs> Have a great night. Sleep, sleep tight. Right.